Hey, this is Joy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have the pleasure of hopping along with Whimsy Stamps in the Creatively Tagged Hop and Giveaway. We are using the Mini Slim Tag Die Set for inspiration. In addition to that, I am using the Tartan Plaid Background Stamp, the Chickadee and Berries, and the Christmas Moments Sentiment Stamp. So I am stamping this Tartan Plaid with icy mist and with independence color hive inks um, onto smooth cardstock which is a copic friendly ink just so you know because we will be doing some copics so if you do go ahead and hop along with everybody all the participants will be linked in the description box below not only will you find a lot of inspiration using the mini slim tag die set but if you leave a comment and subscribe to each channel you'll be entered in to win a hundred dollar gift certificates to the whimsy stamps shop so a winner will be chosen at random via youtube random comment picker so be sure to subscribe and leave a comment the winner of the video will be announced on all participating channels in the description boxes below so once i got done with the plaid i stamped the chickadee and berry stamp set using a black Copic friendly ink. And then I decided to obviously Copic color this. So the artist drew in the shading of the sky and the tree. So this is a very easy stamp to actually color. Sometimes when we see these shaded images, we're afraid to color them. But I assure you, this is a great stamp to give it, give it a go. I use a B9 five as my darkest color and I put that in where the darkest portion of the shading is in the stamp and as the shading gets lighter in the stamped image then I use my B93 and then I blend that out with the B91 so to reiterate that the artist drew in darker hash marks where the shading would be and as those hash marks get lighter that's where your highlight or your lightest color would be. So just follow that along and you're gonna see because I used a dye ink in my stamping in my background, I can color right over that. Um, and that's just a fun way to get more texture in your background and in your sky. For the berries, I am using my favorite red combination, which is an R59, a 4-6, I'm sorry, a 2 9, a 4 6, and a 2 4. So basically, I'm using two very dark shades and then some mid tones. So, where the artist drew in the darkest part of the berry, I am putting the R59, and then I am going right over that with the R29. From there, I blend that out using the R46, and the R24 is ultimately going to be our highlight color. Now when I color berries, any place that the berries overlap, I leave a shadow. And at the very top, I actually leave some white space. If for some reason you would lose your highlight, then you can go back in later with a white gel pen to add some brilliance to the um, red berries. Um, I'm doing the exact same process with my branches and where the darkest part of the branch would be. I'm using the E59. And then I blend that out with an E57, and my lightest color is the E55. Now, I think that this was super easy to color. Now, if you wanted to leave the coloring of the bird out, you could call this done. I decided to bring in some warm gray Copics using a W3, a W1, and a W0 just to blend it. So again, I'm using my W3 to go where the most concentrated area of the artist drawn lines are to just give some hint of color. Basically, my plaid background is my color of my card. So just these hints of shadows with the warm grays um, give a little bit more interest. And then the berries, in my opinion, if you add little pops of red in your cards or any of your projects, it really gets the eye to draw in and people gravitate to them. So I always try to add red into my, pro in my projects. So be looking for that almost 
on everything that I do. Every once in a while, um, I'll surprise myself and not use red. But going back to the birds, once I put the W3 down, I go in with the W1 and then the W0. Now along the tail, I use my white gel pen just to add some brilliance and some pops into the tail. I also add a little bit of that into the feathers. But again, the berries really are the star of the show in addition to the plaid background. I cut the um, Peace, Love, and Joy stamp set out of this red rubber stamp. I stamp that down onto the narrow tag that's included in this uh, die set. And then I cut out the reinforcers with uh, red glitter cardstock just to give it some interest. And from my stash, I had some gingham ribbon and some black twine. And I'm just adding some tails because I think, uh, especially this time of year, the fluffier your tags are, the better. And you're going to see I did layer those two tags. And that's because Copics can sort of um, bleed to the back of your page. So that way having the two layers um, you get some dimension here um, I thank you for hopping along with us be sure to check below for all the participants until next time keep crafting my friends bye bye